What's up, guys? We are past the pop culture. My name is Ricky with my co-host, Mr. Fan. Today yep. is episode eight, I think. Uh, I, I, yes. I don't know. I forgot to check the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Season two, episode eight, guys. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, you guys seen Batman already because we're going to go, well, the Batman, I guess, uh, uh, for 2022. I hope you've guys seen it because we're going to kind of go into more spoiler talk. I feel like we're probably going to end up over there. So I just want to give you guys a heads up. We'll try to mention it again. Uh, we're just going to kind of talk about some surface stuff, some uh, where do we think DC's going with all of this? Do you think this was a good idea? Kind of like just like the outside of the movie stuff. And then we're definitely going to go in and talking about certain scenes we liked, our ratings and stuff like that. But yeah, so we're going to just jump right into it. Uh, I think the first thing would be good to do is like just give our rating right out of the way if you haven't seen it. Uh, you need to go see it. Uh, I think yeah. you'd also agree with that. You have uh, to. You need to go see this movie. <laughs> Uh, this movie's pretty good. Uh, I out of ten, you see, it, it depends how I I don't know because there's a lot of different like moving parts to it for me, mm -hmm. and and it's just like I want to say it's like a solid nine for me. It's a solid nine. What really? Uh, yeah, it's a solid I'm nine surprised. for me. Okay. Uh, on but it can be depending on what I'm talking about and. Mm. I can see someone not liking this though. Mm -hmm. I think general audience is kind of like an 8.5, but it seems most people have liked the movie that there's a, there's a really good reception to a lot of the core DC fan base. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. And then sometimes I'm even like, man, this movie's like a 9.5, but that's just me being hype. Right. So, but I give this a solid nine. I think like, yeah, like a solid nine, I think is probably one of the better Batman movies to come out. Mm hmm um uh, for a long time man probably in the past 10 years i would say it's probably one of the full since christian Batman bale basically <laughs> yeah um i i really enjoyed this batman and, wow. and but i should say i enjoyed batman not I, I don't i think he did a good job as bruce wayne but he took a different approach with it and i can see where many people were maybe didn't like that but mm -hmm. i think most people tended to like it uh they're, they're, his Bruce Wayne approach because he's kind of like, it did feel like sometimes he's being like a little over edgy for me but like I <laughs> over think, emo like it was kind of like okay yeah like, like yeah like it was like alright buddy and like you're playing it really good don't get me wrong but alright mm, alright so like look a look, edge -like, look. But what's your rating fan? I'm gonna give you, give you a few rating. ratings because I asked everybody so my mm -hmm. personal rating is like nine and a half ten uh, Nine and a half, ten. Okay, Mercedes, so we're kind of on the same. Yeah, Mercedes was a ten, which is a big shocker okay. for me. My mom's was a ten. Now, this is where it's going to get, you know, a little interesting. Christopher, our cousin, and Jacob, mm -hmm. Chris gave it like an eight-ish, mm -hmm. maybe a seven and a half. Jacob also gave it a seven, seven and a half. And uh, their reasoning was because they did not like Bruce Wayne. Yep, that's why. That's exactly why. But yeah, I, this is I this is the thing. This like I I was talking. <laughs> me and Mercedes were like having a heated discussion about this because we think this movie is like a like a ten out of ten, right? So I understand mm -hmm. why they're saying Bruce Wayne was too emo, but mm -hmm. one of the things that they both said is like he's just Edward from Twilight, and I personally think that people who are not liking him as Bruce Wayne is because they can only see him. As, as the, the stupid dude. as the Twilight vampire, I can understand the comparison. Yes, they were both pretty emo, but I think if Twilight didn't exist, they would not be complaining about this Bruce Wayne. No, yeah, you're right. Because I did feel like that, like, oh, okay, yeah, like it did kind of feel like, all right, you know, we're kind of reaching into that Twilight emo thing. Yeah. But like, I think he didn't reach in too deep where he fell in. But mm -hmm. yeah, it definitely kind of felt like. I I, I guess I knew people were gonna make that perception it's, of it it's have that perception stupid. of it it's so stupid but <laughs> i i think robert pattison especially because i was hesitant on robert pattison yeah. and and you were like championing him because mm. you've seen like the lighthouse and other movies a lot of in. movies with them and yeah and, and uh, you really enjoy his work as an mm. actor but i haven't been exposed to anything outside i, I haven't really even seen much of twilight it wasn't i just see it like here and there like the like memes scenes, like, <laughs> like yeah the memes and like I think I watched the first one maybe as like a kid a long time ago, mm. but yeah. So when watching it, I was like, uh, I'm sorry. When I watched Tenant, 
that's when I was like, oh, this guy can act. This guy's yeah. good. And then yeah. that's when I was definitely like, I can see him being Batman Bruce Wayne, mm-hmm. especially with the way that he is uh, kind of presented himself in that mm-hmm. in that movie. I thought he has a lot of talent. And I was like, okay, yeah. I, th- I think a lot of people give him a hard time uh, just because of Twilight. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, so, man. So it's like, I think we should kind of like leave. I mean, what has it been like 10 plus years? It's, I don't even know when that came up. I was like, get over it, okay? Like, 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 if we're being okay, when did Twilight come out? Cause yeah, I'm kind of curious. Because he's uh, made but... so many movies and it's like, oh no, he sucks as an actor because he in Twilight. He was so emo. Twilight was 2008. If we're being <laughs> honest, most of the kids watching this series, I'm sorry, watching the Batman, don't even know what Twilight is. <laughs> Never saw Twilight. Let's be honest. Since 2008. 2008. So a lot of the people being exposed to the Batman don't even know who Edward is. Mm -hmm. So when people are complaining, oh, he's like Twilight, there's probably a good chunk of audience, especially that on like uh, TikTok, who are like, who's Edward? Who's Twilight? Like they probably heard about it, but they probably are just like, you know, there's like these young kids that are just like, oh, he's the Batman. You know, and see, and those like, people yeah. are gonna go watch Twilight now and be like, "Oh, he's just like Bruce Wayne." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like I, I think, I think, like, okay, it's two thousand and eight, bro. Like, that's a I long understand. time ago. Holy cow! Yeah, and, and the series, I guess, ended in twenty twelve, which still, still ten years. It's like, yeah, so so it's been it's been ten years. So like, some of the kids that are watching this movie are preteens or early teenagers, mm-hmm. and like, they just don't know. They haven't seen it. Like, yeah. they, you know what I mean? I, it's, like, it's just the fact that they said he's like a, a emo Batman. And then, like, they even said, oh, storyline, 10 out of 10. Cinematography, 10 out of 10. Everything is mm-hmm. 10 out of 10, but him as Bruce Wayne. So I'm giving it, like, a 7. And it's like, that makes literally zero sense to me. But but I, I enjoyed his Bruce Wayne because I know, because, like, especially, like, our cousin Chris, well, he's not here to defend us. He's a pretty comic book purist. Yeah. Which is, which is fine. I, I like it when... They try to be as accurate to the mm-hmm. comic books, but I think something that I've enjoyed more is not necessarily accuracy to the comic books, but I guess that we are portraying the characters in a in a proper manner that's just not exactly like the comics. I don't know how to word it, but it's like you're still it's like honoring justice. the comics essentially. Or, yeah, you're still honoring the comics. Like Peacemaker, I don't know what the comic books was like. Mm-hmm. Nobody really knows. Nobody really read them, mm-hmm. right? So. But they're still, in a way, respecting the material where he came from. Yeah. And from what, you know, at least I'm being told, is that they respected it and they used the character and transformed him into something else, right? Like Exactly. Like, same thing as, like, like Marvel did that with Guardians of the Galaxy. No yep. one has a problem with that when it's really good, right? Because mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy was just, like, this nobody group that nobody knew about Marvel Comics. I didn't that. know who Guardians of the Galaxy before. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not a big comic book nerd, so... This perspective is probably not going to be shared by a lot of comic book enthusiasts, but as long as you're just paying respect to the characters, mm-hmm. I'm fine with the char- with with them going in a different direction. Yep. As long as it's still paying res- it's still paying the respect, still giving homage to the characters' original ideas, right? The characters, like if you made the Joker, and then you know he didn't laugh. And, That's a different know, story. He had, none of his, <laughs> he had none of his charisma or mm-hmm. anything, and then you're just like he just has the Joker name. And then he goes around and just does stuff. And then it's just like, oh, well, what is he doing? He's like, oh, no, he's just there. And you know, he's in the background. You know, it's like, well, okay. Like, well, Joker's like one of the most famous villains ever. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not paying him respect. You know, where the, and, and, and I'm not, I, I used to be like, well, yeah, you should be comic book purist. And even when I watch anime, if I, I'm looking at like a scene from the manga mm-hmm. and it's like, okay, how, how accurate is, but sometimes I think like, I think, I don't know. I'm fine with them changing things a little bit more now. I mean, if I think, it works, right? I think I'm a little bit more, as long as it works, as long as it pays mm-hmm. respect, um, you know, then that's fine, right? Like, Bruce Wayne doesn't always have to be, like, this rich billionaire playboy. Uh, you can make him darker, or you can make him a little bit happier, more upbeat, more hopeful, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I personally liked in uh, the Justice League animated series, right? Batman was very hopeful, exactly uh you know but that's not batman justice Justice league and then justice league um oh unlimited there we go i really enjoyed that because the way they portrayed him was still respectful to batman right Mm -hmm. how everybody knows batman but like one of my favorite scenes was i can't remember it right now but uh, it was one of the uh there was a little girl dying and he was on the swing set with her and then the girl was like oh will you stay here with me Mm -hmm. so that i'm not alone right 
Yes. And so, yeah, that is more of a hopeful Batman, a more of a assembled Batman. And mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that. But mm -hmm. you can have that simultaneous, you can have him be that hopeful symbol simultaneously with another version of him being kind of more dark and gritty. Exactly. Right? Like, whether it be, that's uh, the, the nail on the head, Ricky. Well done. <laughs> and, and, and that's what it is. It's like, it's fine. There's different interpretations. I liked Snyder's interpretation of mm -hmm. the Justice League. I think, I think I liked it. It was cool. Um, but some people didn't like it and that's okay. So, because some people were complaining, Oh, bat, I'm um, sorry. Superman's too dark. And like, Oh, he needs to be more upbeat and everything. And mm -hmm. it's fine. Like we can change these characters around. Like they don't have to be super solid. Cause then it gets kind of boring. Exactly. And I'm fine with them trying to do things a little bit more experimental as long as it's within the identity of the character. Perfect. You know, like, and I think that's what it is. And I think Batman is th the Batman is going in a slightly different direction. And I like the direction it's going in. Mm -hmm. So like Chris or like our other cousin, they may not enjoy it. Um, and that's okay. That's okay because this Batman, I think something we have to realize too is like, this is for us, but it's also for a lot of other people too. Mm -hmm. Whether they're casual fans or whether they really are hardcore into the comic books um, or, you know, you're a horror enthusiast. Um, I think they're gonna. People are gonna enjoy this kind of movie because, like, this movie kind of felt almost like a horror movie. It was very different than the traditional Batman amazing, films that yes. we got. It's just, it's, it's, and I know you probably enjoy it. There's amazing scenes in there that I absolutely love. The cinematography was amazing, but yeah, like, I don't think I think you're absolutely right though. It is. We can't just be like, oh, he's Edward. He's Edward, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know. And then it's like he's 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 a vampire, and yeah, we can joke about it. But I think at this point, like, it's been 10 years. Like, I don't think that's a good enough criticism because he was in yep. Harry Potter, right? Yep. Like, does that ruin the Harry Potter series? Exactly. It's just, it's kind of like, it's 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 just one of those things where it's like, that's fine if you don't enjoy it. If you only see uh, Robert Pattinson as, uh, you know, a twinkling vampire emo boy, that's fine. That's that's okay. But like, I think. But like, you're delusional. Say, <laughs> I'm sorry. To say like, to say that what makes the movie bad. I don't, I don't, like, I wouldn't say it's bad. If you want to critique the movie where he reaches kind of far into that emo, fine. I just don't think it's really, like, I don't I, know. I, he's not Bruce Wayne for very long. This is the Batman. This but is see, the yeah, Batman but see, movie. But that's he's also Bruce why Wayne they didn't like, like it. Yeah, I know. That's what I he's told. Bruce I was Wayne like, only, he's, yeah. bat, he's, bat, he's Bruce Wayne for, like, what, five, ten minutes? And then it's like, yeah, yeah exactly. That's not good. It's like, why? Maybe, maybe it would it's be just good be, to maybe bring Chris on. Then yeah, we should have. I just I just think it's because... This well, Batman, we'll, yeah, this yeah. is the only Batman that shows actual emotion, and I don't think they like that. They think, show, he, think, they show yeah, like, like he's like very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. He's very like weak-minded, oh, yeah. quote unquote. Really know what he's thinking. Yeah, really and do. I thought they're like they're used to seeing Batman as like he's Batman. He knows what he's doing. He's a playboy yeah. guy. You know, go be a superhero. Yeah. You hit that. <laughs> you hit what I wanted to talk about too. I liked how Batman was failing. Exactly. I, I, I like, I, it reminded me, and this is a weird comparison, but I hopefully you guys kind of stay here with me, is that it reminded me a lot of the Daredevil Netflix series. And the, uh... and like and, and some of the choreography where he was still getting hit. And then he felt like that scene where he used a grappling hook and mm -hmm. you thought he was going to make it. Or no, I'm sorry, when he was flying, right? Mm -hmm. And then so he, he did that and then he just was trying to get the grappling hook and then he just ended up eating it. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, it's like, because that's not in a mm -hmm. Batman movie. Batman exactly. doesn't mess up. Batman doesn't make mistakes. And they hate and so that. They don't like people, yeah. That may be a turn. And that's okay. Maybe you just want a cool, stoic Batman, just like in the cartoons in a way. But I think this is like, I loved the monologues. Um, especially yep. like at the beginning. Oh man, you know, let's go you got see this movie Nirvana again. playing. Yeah, I, I want to see it again in, in, a, in to a certain degree, and I, I probably will see it again because there's so many things going on. But it's just like I don't know. I, I because this is a year two Batman, not a year zero, but it's a year two Batman. He's a very young Batman. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of like where he's going and his identity, right? Like this whole movie is about his identity, exactly. the mask, right? Even Riddler says it. It's about the mask. You're exactly batman. the mask is bruce wayne <laughs> the mask is bruce wayne bruce wayne's not actually him batman yeah. is actually him exactly so i understand the criticism against bruce wayne i understand it uh but i think we have to understand and in the movie explicitly says it this movie isn't bruce wayne it's the batman <laughs> it's the batman and i love that he was in the suit 90 percent of the time mm -hmm. 
And like 5% of the time when he wasn't in it, it was to kind of like move around Gotham Mm -hmm. or use his Bruce Wayne persona to kind of get closer Mm -hmm. to the ground by kind of like, okay, what's going on here? Or just him literally in the cave investigating. (laughs) Yeah. I loved the bat cave when you like, when I I liked it when like all the bats were coming out and everything. I thought it was really good. I, I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie, but I can see. Why some people wouldn't enjoy it, and it's I can't. You know, <laughs> I just can't. I, I can't. I can't because some people really want <sighs> him to to fail, to be like a stoic, cool Batman. Mm-hmm. I I think yeah, a lot of people can't get over that it's Robert Pattinson playing um, Batman. Uh, I don't know. I got over it pretty quick after seeing Tenant, and I think if you're hesitant about seeing Batman, um, you should go see Tenant. And if you've seen the Batman and you like how Robert Pattinson portrays Batman, go see Tenant. Like um, yep. that's pretty much the best way. And if you've seen Tenant, then, then go see like the Lighthouse. Like, yeah, go see the Lighthouse. Like you said, <laughs> that's I a really. That. I haven't seen it. That's a different. We should probably watch that. We, uh, maybe it's not very family movie watch night, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good I know, movie. I know because there's a few scenes, but <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. I don't know. I'd probably watch it, but yeah, there's um, I don't know, but I do think it is very funny that. There's a good amount of people that have turned around and respect Robert Pattinson as an actor now. Exactly. Like, people are kind of, like, mm-hmm. fanboying mm-hmm. and fangirling for him now. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, yeah, he's just human just like the rest of us. Like, I, you know, it's... I think he enjoys ma- playing the character from what people have been seeing. Like, you know, they film in him and he's, like, fans' reaction. Uh, apparently, he's debating people secretly online about his acting. Like, about, <laughs> no like, way, like, I'm really? I've sure heard about that. Oh, no. I heard, I, I'm not sure if that's true, but apparently people are saying that Robert Pattinson's been like, if that if he gets some hate, he's been like responding, but he uses like an alt account. Nice. That's what I, heard. I'm not, I don't I think that's it. true. I respect it. I don't I don't think it's it. true, but a lot of people are saying that like they think that, but that's just all a rumor. And if it's true, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, like, and then it seems like he just, he, he enjoys the character. He's, he wants to make a sequel and stuff like that. Well, no, there's, it's supposed to be a trilogy. So Matt Reeves already yeah. said, I'm going to make a trilogy. So yeah. he, he even and, already uh, talked to Christopher Nolan. He's like, Hey, I'm trying to beat you. You know that, right? <laughs> He's yeah, like, yeah, go ahead, uh, try. For many, Christopher Nolan's, you know, Dark Knight trilogy is it. That's the it Batman. Does um, not age well, by the way. Yeah, a lot of people said it didn't age well. Um, you know, that's like I don't know. It's one of those things. Bad. Like as a kid growing up, it's like I I really enjoyed that Batman. I never really was like obsessed with it, but I I thought it I good, always man. enjoyed it. I always yeah, enjoyed we, it. We watched yeah, the first I mean, we watched the first one, and some scenes were happening. You were like, yeah, that's not aging very well. <laughs> we should definitely <laughs> maybe take that out. But so we have yeah, to we have to uh, we have to ask. The serious question, the one that everybody cares about. Out of all the Batmans, which do you rank this one? You see, I'd have to watch them all again. I know that's a cop out, but I'd have to like <laughs> I'd have to sit down. Um I enjoyed the Dark Knight trilogy. Mm-hmm. I thought you know, I thought I think uh Ben Affleck's Batman was okay. Mm-hmm. Um I liked his portrayal as like an older Batman. Mm-hmm. I think I think I think that's where his is kind of a little separate because mm-hmm. most of them are playing kind of like a younger Batman. Um, and then he's kind of playing like a Batman who's been around the block a bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought Ben Affleck portrayed him well. Uh, not my favorite. Um, let me see. <laughs> we had Michael Keaton. I, I thought he, I mean, he's a classic though. So. You can't. I, I can't. I would have to go back and see the movies and really like analyze it. But uh-huh. he's still, he's still a goat. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, George Clooney, right? He, yeah, he played George Batman. Clooney with well, the bat nips. Uh, you know, what? I enjoyed the bat nipples and the stupid. That movie was so you know, cheesy. Uh, I love it. <laughs> was there, we had Arnold. Arnold as Mister Freeze. <laughs> Mister Freeze. There we go. And then he was like, that movie was comic book goofy. And I love it. as a kid, I loved it. As a kid, I, I loved it. I just I watched that too. Know. I still love it. <laughs> I don't know if I still love it as a, like now, uh, but as a kid, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I um, like that stupidity. So <laughs> I don't know, but I think I think like a modern interpretation of Batman. I mm-hmm. think Robert Pattinson's it for me. I, I like him. Okay. Uh, I, I I do like him more over Ben Affleck. Me too. Uh, and then I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'd have to again. I'd have to see 
like the Dark Knight Rises and, mm-hmm. and, and Batman Begins again and all, like all that to kind of really like see like oh, um, I, I don't know, man. Like it could just be because the honeymoon phase or whatever. But mm-hmm. uh, I think this, I think Robert Pattinson as Batman is is the number one for me right now, especially because like we just saw the the Batman trilogy and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just. He hit the nail on, like, the head. Maybe it's just because of the tone of the movie or something. I don't know, but... Maybe, like, once they do I the mean, trilogy, we, have, we can I, reevaluate yeah. this, but... <laughs> yeah, I think, I think yeah, we'd have to really do that. Because, I mean, we're still missing out, like, um, was it Adam West? Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not too familiar with that, you know, interpretation of Batman. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I, I don't know. We'd have, we'd have to see, but... Definitely, he's, he's, he's high up there. Robert Pattinson's high up there. Uh, with... with uh, I think in terms of like Batman portrayals, I mm-hmm. think he's done a good job. What about uh, yeah. the rest of the cast? Catwoman. I I like I liked her. I think uh, she did really well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the Catwoman, you know, because we had that was it that old Catwoman like way back in the day uh, yeah. in the movie with the uh, so it's kind of a low bar. Halle Berry, I think Halle Berry played that. Oh, movie. that movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an interesting one. Yeah. Um, no comments to that. And I thought I thought she did a good job. I really liked her mm-hmm. character. Uh, I don't really have any complaints. She's like, I, I, I she's know, a I really good Catwoman. Like almost like yeah, too like, good. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I. I can't really off the top of my head. I don't really have any complaints about her portrayal or mm-hmm. anything. Um. I I actually liked her suit where it was more burglarish rather than like just some like latex everywhere. Latex felt, squeezing her to death. I, I, <laughs> I yeah I enjoyed all the costume designs though. Mm-hmm. Especially just for the, the fact that like they felt realistic. Yeah, especially they the felt Batman's. realistic when he's yeah. walking like so, he has like a cowboy and has like the little what are they called the the spurs that's like what it sounds like I don't know. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, that that gets me like every that. time he's like taking a step I was like man. This guy's about to get his butt whooped. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually like Commissioner Gordon a lot. I, I actually mm-hmm. did. I know that that was a controversial character for mm-hmm. many. Uh, for some good and bad reasons. But I, I actually really enjoyed it. Honestly, for me, to play a good Commissioner Gordon, is as long as you can kind of play good cop, bad cop really well with yeah. Batman, mm-hmm. and you can grow a sick mustache, that's really what I need. <laughs> like, that's really all I need. And, and so, yeah, like, because I know, I, I don't know who, like, the actor. Have you seen uh, West, West Side Story? Or not West Side Story, I'm sorry. Uh, the HBO series. Oh, my God. Westworld? Gosh. Westworld, thank you. He's no, in I have not seen Westworld. Oh, okay. But... No. He's in that. Yeah, like, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed his uh, interpretation of uh, uh, Commissioner Gordon. Gordon. Mm-hmm. I, I, Commissioner Gordon, yeah, because uh, I don't know, it's just I felt like just the way he was like yelling at Batman, and he's like, you know, get yourself in line <laughs> and this and that, yeah. and like he was working with Batman, mm-hmm. and, and I don't know, I just I really liked it because it was like I think it was a good element because mm-hmm. I really like it when it because it was, you know, they've had kind of like a working relationship for some time now, but mm-hmm. I really enjoyed that scene where he was like, look, take the keys, go to the roof punch me and then and then so like he let him escape i really enjoyed that scene when, <laughs> you pull your punch. when everyone's trying to unmask batman too and he's like stop stop yeah. and he's like what are you doing and he pushes batman right yeah. like he fought against batman like he pushed him up he says what are you doing you're out of line too and blah 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 yeah. and like, you know like i enjoyed that i really enjoyed that uh some people may not i i enjoyed it um that'd be but, i wonder if people didn't enjoy that that'd be kind of weird no he I, doesn't I, get tossed I, around by gordon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, who played in Batman Begin? Okay, so Gary Oldman, that's who played uh, Commissioner Gordon yeah, in the yeah, last yeah, one. Yeah. I liked him. I think he did a really good job. I think he looked like the character a lot, too. Like, it was just like he brought him out from the comic book. But I think in Batman Begins, I, I'm sorry, uh, in the Batman, I really enjoyed this Commissioner Gordon. Um, he was like, because I know some people were kind of like, well, you know, uh, a little bit more like hesitant with how uh, Batwoman and and commissioner gordon we're gonna be and then mm-hmm. and, and just and, the, and then and then they're like oh you got a vampire boy you know for robert pattison but i think all the actors are good um especially like riddler because he looks so innocent and like he i can't like, believe that's the actor of the riddler like i forgot yeah, who it was and then like when they yeah. re- like did the face reveal i guess essentially i was like oh, 
him? Yeah. This kid? This comedic actor that's like never does a serious role was the Riddler? Yeah. <laughs> and and so I know like everyone was getting hate for the casting. Mm-hmm. And so I was really worried because I, 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 and I was like, well, I was pretty open-minded. Like, okay, yeah, let's see how his Commissioner Gordon is. Let's see how this Catwoman is. Let's see how this Batman is. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't disappointed. I actually really enjoyed it. I, I didn't think it was going to be bad. Me neither. Uh, I just thought like, okay, let's see how, let's see how good this is. Because mm-hmm. I, I was just unfamiliar with these three actors. And Robert Pattinson, I only saw like Tenet. But I, I don't really watch any of their mm-hmm. other stuff. So I was just like, I don't know who these people are. You know, and then so. I think uh, it's just more scary because, like, this is the next movie for DC, and it's like, what's going to happen with DC, right? Because, like, like, Peacemaker was good. It's like, okay, they're starting off on the right foot. Is Batman Mm going to continue that, or is it going to just stall the rest of DC? Yeah, and that and that's what um I think I want to get into next is just Mm -hmm. where where do we go from here? What's the next step? That's a high bar, man. (laughs) <laughs> i i honestly i, I do want a trilogy of batman mm-hmm. um i loved how at the beginning he's like i'm vengeance i'm just i'm like you know mm-hmm. a, and and then we get to the end where he's like oh i want to be hope yeah you know and then and then i i really enjoyed that um that's like such good character progression it's that's such, yes it's really good character progression but also going into the next movie right it's we're going to be recovering Gotham, right? Trying exactly. to mm-hmm. bring it back. And okay. I don't know what would be like the next villain. I'm kind of thinking like maybe like Firefly. Well, so you know, the website, like in the movie, what is it? Like Rada, yeah. Lada, whatever. It's an actual website. Yeah. And right now there's a countdown on it. And so they're assuming mm-hmm. that with the countdown, they're going to reveal what's going to be for the next movie. Mm-hmm. So, because I don't, I don't know if you were paying attention to the website because they would do the riddles and whatever, and like you can answer yeah. them. And then over time, it went to the movie, and then now it's a countdown. So maybe we had to wait, mm-hmm. like maybe whatever the countdown is, and then they'll say, "Hey, guess who's the next bad guy?" Which mm-hmm. is a major spoiler. We're about to say right now, the very end, oh, okay. with the Riddler being in Arkham, and he was talking mm-hmm. to his cell neighbor. Who was and that? So, so, so a lot of people were saying, oh, is that Two-Face? I kind of thought it was Two-Face at first. I thought so, but too. But then, you know, you have the Joker. And a lot of people are saying it's the Joker. And uh, most people are saying, oh, no, that's the Joker. Because especially, like, when he was talking about uh, the clown and stuff like that. Yeah, so, like, the riddle um, he did was have... also Joker or something. I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I don't, I don't know. The character could always change. But I, if someone said that, oh, yeah, that's Joker... And then I, I don't know. I'm just kind of running with that. Like I think it's Joker too. Like mm-hmm. that's kind of what it seems like. Um, kind of disappointed that we didn't get Walking Phoenix as uh, like to cameo. I think that would been really. I cool. know. I think that's why I didn't want to accept that it was Joker. I was like, no, no, no. It's Two Face. It's Two Face. Because yeah, I, I think if it was uh, Walking Phoenix, that's a perfect fit right now. Like a hundred. Yes, I think this. I think Walking Phoenix interpretation of the Joker would fit very perfectly into the Batman's world. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, Remember, we have, like, three Jokers that we can work with here. So that can only just be one. Exactly. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, because there's, there can also, I don't know. I don't think they'll do somebody like Hugo Strange. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and for the second one, um, I don't think they'll do that. But who knows? Who knows? Like, because remember they mentioned, like, martial law and stuff like that. Yeah. So... So that kind of like, I mean, of course, this is going off like the Arkham games and stuff like that. Because (laughs) my brother mentioned that there's a lot of parallels to the Arkham series. Yeah, exactly. um, To to, to the Arkham game series. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, I do see that. Because like the way like the... the the enemies were walking. I want to say enemies. Sorry. Uh, the some of the like uh, bad guys are walking around and like the enemies in the game. Like yeah. they kind of had like a, a there's a in certain groups. feel to it that Ryan was like, you know, this kind of reminds me of Arkham City. Hmm. And so I was like, you know, yeah, that like I do kind of get that vibe. So I'm not sure. That could just be me. That could just be me. Uh, but yeah, I I I, uh, I think it'd be really interesting if we get somebody like Firefly for the next movie because we had water for this one essentially the flooding. Mm-hmm. And so I'm assuming maybe they'd set Gotham on fire with, you know, uh, Firefly. Uh, mm-hmm. I think Firefly would be a pretty good fit because mm-hmm. the way that they made Riddler, um, kind of, 
I did kind of laugh because he was kind of like all like threatening and everything. And then he was like, oh, thanks guys for 500 followers. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, uh... like for a second, I felt like, I mean, it's realistic. Yeah. And because that's what would happen in real life. But it kind of took me out of it because it was like the movie was so serious. And when it kind of had that, it just yeah. felt a little weird. <laughs> thanks fans. But like, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah but it makes sense but um i can see definitely someone like firefly being a main villain Mm -hmm. as like he's like this pyromaniac that can just come in and like torch the city and 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 that's Mm -hmm. what he is he can just be a a, a pyromaniac just like uh you know crazy psychopath sociopath i don't know what's the difference but he can just go in and he can cause a lot of havoc i think Mm -hmm. that would be like a good villain for the next movie um it seems like maybe I have a feeling. This is just a gut feeling that we're probably gonna have like maybe two, three villains in the next one. Yeah, I- I'm okay just, with that. Just because he's like, oh, it's under martial law. There's these new gangs and everything's appearing. That's I where think everything starts have, to pop up. Yeah, I think he's gonna have like a he's fighting multiple people kind of thing. And well, like, Penguin has feel, to be in it again, right? Like, Pen- yeah penguin is definitely going to be in it yeah. that's the thing we know so he's a, this kind of set him up so he's definitely going to have some influence in the mm-hmm. second one so that's already one villain there but my call is firefly i think firefly would be pretty hmm. fun to have in let's well, see, uh, well, see this is the thing this is the a, thing we, yeah. we've never had a firefly right i don't think we've had a yeah, firefly never... for live action yeah see this is my it could be a very far reach but the flash is coming out this year and mm-hmm. i think they may not go the reset route but they might go the mm-hmm. multiverse route and okay. i don't know how it's going to work but they might change the worlds around and so like that's how they're going to have like walking phoenix like joker go into this batman get rid of mm-hmm. like ben affleck batman and then like have some people from the michael keaton batman say hey what's up and so it's like i think mm-hmm. they're going to be doing a lot of crisscrossing right now so I think like if they start to introduce either new characters or That's old risky. characters, it's super risky. Mm-hmm. But I think because The Flash is the very last DC movie, I believe, right? This year? I think I think so. I think we're getting a second Aquaman. Oh no, that Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, but that one doesn't count. Cuz we have Black Adam, another uh, Aquaman, and then Flash is the, the Flash. end of the year. And that's it. Yeah. So I'm thinking, and then like whatever happens in Black Adam, they might start to tie in into the Flash movie. And I think I think we're supposed to get a Shazam movie too, but I'm not sure. That's when that's uh, out. next year. That's next year. So I think yeah. I think the Flash. It may maybe it won't be a reset button. Maybe it'll be like a Doctor Strange, you know, multiverse of whatever madness movie. Mm-hmm. And that's where this this Batman is going to be like, hey guys, now I'm part of the universe, and that's how they're going to start to connect everything. But I'm calling it. Because I I want this to be its own separate universe. Mm-hmm. I like this dark, gritty interpretation. Mm-hmm. And we can have, like, the more happy-go-lucky. I mean, the Snyderverse is not happy-go-lucky, but you know what I mean? Compared yeah. to the Batman, it's happy-go-lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? We, they call that <laughs> dark. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You think the world's going to be destroyed by, like, you know, world conquerors? You know? Like, <laughs> all right. You know? But um, I just loved how personal the Batman was. And I mm-hmm. think... We should try to stick to these kind of stories, and I think like the Joker would be good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd love to see Deathstroke come in. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Um, my brother's theory was uh, the running theory for the little kid that got his parents mur- that were murdered early on, but the politician. You know how you have the oh, okay, little boy yeah, yeah. at the. My brother's theory is that he may become Robin. I'm not sure. I'm not sure mm. if that's a reach, but my brother thinks that. He, he might potentially they might go a separate a change it up and he might be robin like like for like after a few movies or something i mean like, i can like see that because he, they did put a lot of emphasis on him but yeah, at the same time know. it's just because I, batman i can see it, was, I can you know, see it but i, I don't think, think so i think the child was supposed to more be a reflection That's of how himself. he felt when yeah, his parents died exactly. mm-hmm. rather than like they were kind of setting it up to be a robin yeah that's what i think because you know he you know, um, and then of course you had you know Alfred make like some reference like, oh, I'm just reminiscing about my time in the circus. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure if there's any connection there or any. But you know, well, that I mean, was my Catwoman brother's... is Catwoman is going to Bloodhaven, so yeah. And then you know, yeah, we had. <laughs> I don't know. I think I don't think we should have a Robin. I think we should just kind of have like 
just Batman be Batman. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of like the Bat Family thing. I think well, I mean, I it's too think soon. Also, Batman. It's too soon. Yeah, but I I hope that it's just maybe there's a Robin. I prefer like he kind of goes into Nightwing pretty quick, and, and then mm-hmm. like he's yeah. kind of doing his own thing. Um, and then he kind of calls on him here and there, but I, I like it when it's just Batman being a detective and that's it. We're mm-hmm. not dealing with all these like Batgirl, Batwoman, Robin, all yeah. these Robins. It gets uh, too crowded. You know, I, I, yeah. And I feel like it gets too crowded. Like you said, you're, you're exactly right. And, mm-hmm. and so I just hope that we can get the Batman. And, it should stay the Batman and then Batman, the Batman two, <laughs> the, the Batman three. <laughs> What about Court of Owls? How about them? Court of Owls, yeah. I know there's some references, mm-hmm. um, especially because we started talking about like the Arkham family and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And that we, um, we're, it seems like they're kind of setting up to be like, oh, the founding families of Gotham, mm-hmm. right? And, and that they seem to start talking about that. But I don't know if they're going to go that route. It, mm-hmm. it could be. That, that would make sense for like a second movie setup. That'd be um, amazing, to be honest. Court of Owls. I know for a lot of people, the Court of Owls, the Court of Owls is probably like kind of some more of the highlights, hmm. uh, uh, or like uh, of what people like uh, in terms of Batman stories. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, there's still people like Ray Shaw Ghoul, Talia Al Ghul that we can get. Yeah, because uh, they haven't mentioned anything about League of Assassins, so. Hmm. Uh, I think they would probably do Court of Owls first before they do League of Assassins, because I feel like that starts getting. Well, I wouldn't say it starts getting bigger in scope, but hmm. that's a lot to start. I think I think this Batman, I think what Matt Reeves seems to be wanting to do is a very personal Batman. Yeah. And so maybe so maybe like in, those would be too big, right? I don't know about too big, but I think he would start to lose focus mm-hmm. on what Batman is. And I think the Riddler was really good because he was kind of able to get into Batman's head. Riddler for the most part, was in control of the whole movie. That's he true. moved the whole plot. Yep. Riddler, Batman only did what the Riddler wanted. Yep. That's Up until true. the point <laughs> where he was like, oh no, you're a maniac, you're crazy. Right? Mm-hmm. Where he thought they were going to be friends. Um, yeah, you but up out. until that point, uh, yeah, like, hey, Riddler was just playing along with Batman's game. So yeah, like, um, the Batman was just falling along with Riddler's game, sorry. But yeah, I, I don't know where where they would take it next but that's why i was thinking something like firefly where he's just like an anarchist mm-hmm. uh or a pyromaniac going around doing stuff yeah. i think you can kind of get away with that more um yeah he won't have like the little jetpack flying around but you can just make him basically a, a pyro like you know just something like that um because i don't know if i want to get too much into like metahumans mm-hmm. i kind of like it when it's just like these on the grounds i at most i would say something like killer croc that'd be okay or something like like something like that. Um, also, I think we might also be seeing a little bit of Bane because I'm not sure if you saw the green vial. Oh, that the one Batman... that he ejected himself with. I was yeah. gonna, I, I was thinking about that. But I was like, no, that can't be. The and juice. I thought that was like the the venom or whatever it's called. Yeah, right? like the. Little, I was like, there's no way, skin. right? I thought it was just I like just... adrenaline. I thought it was adrenaline too, but I don't think they would put so much emphasis on the green vial. Yeah, not yeah. If there's a skull on it, if there's a little skull on it, I'm like, oh, that's Bane. But mm. yeah, I can see. But I feel like some of these characters already kind of exist within the world, and I yeah. think Bane might be one of them because I have a feeling that that's kind of a little Easter egg there. But someone might think otherwise. Or um, well, I mean, I mean, I, I guess curious. I guess you can say because in the very beginning, the group they fought, they're all wearing white faces, you know, with a smile. So I guess that. Mm-hmm a homage or the gang of joker already right yeah well because it was halloween so yeah i think that could be could be something like that too though but i don't know it it, it, it just there's a lot of different directions i mean i think poison ivy would be kind of cool uh Ooh. especially since we already have catwoman set up uh okay. but again that's she's kind of meta human so i don't know like how that might look because like there's a lot of physicality with this batman Mm -hmm. and how it's kind of more i really like the action sequences so Mm -hmm. i would like more of that you know and and i keep it like that i don't know how much like meta human uh he's going to be able to fight like how many or like how powerful they want to go with Mm because he's still very fairly early on young batman yeah so Mm -hmm. i I don't know but yeah i i think i think keeping the characters as grounded as possible Mm because i loved how 
it went for more realism in yeah. this movie, like where, like, you know, the grappling hook and how, you know, the suit was kind of constructed and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, he had, like, basically an invincible suit, but the impact still were like, <gasps> and like, oh, would... Christian Jacob hated the cape. It was useless, they said. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I guess, like, he could, like, do like the Arkham Knight thing and just like, and then like, I, mean, I, I guess you can <laughs> well, do like, that. Come on, but guys, because, they're nitpicking. But, like, <laughs> but I did, I did like that they were dragging him by the cape because yeah. it's more of a cosmetic thing. Yeah. But they did kind of use that to their advantage, and I kind of like that. Um, but I don't know. It, we'll, we'll see. But I, I just liked how Gotham felt pretty like lived in and stuff. But exactly, uh, we're getting way sidetracked uh, about the original thing though. Uh, I did, I do think that. There's a lot of different directions that we can go. Mm-hmm. I think DC, if they're smart, they're going to keep greenlighting these movies. Let Matt Reeves do his thing. I'll let Robert Pattinson do the thing. Um, I loved Commissioner Gordon and Catwoman. I think they're really good characters. I know a lot of people were hesitant, but I think they're really good. I I, agree. I, I don't know. I, I, I hope they keep I doing it. I, lo- I, like, I like his Jim Gordon. Mm-hmm. I really do. And if you don't, I guess that's your own problem. But, you know? like, but. Uh, it was just announced today because you know how they're supposed to do the Gotham show for HBO and like this was supposed mm-hmm. to be the Gordon for that. They just paused that TV production. Mm. Like it was announced today. Matt Reeves said, hey, it's on pause for right now. So I really hope mm. it's for a good reason, and not a bad reason. I don't mm-hmm. I really don't know why they would pause it. Maybe because they're going to change something, but hopefully they have enough money. I mean, everyone liked this movie, though, right? For the most part, yeah, like it's um, rotten I fresh or like whatever. 80, yeah, it's fresh. They had like an 83, 85, I think, at the time we were filming this. I looked it up like a little bit. Just don't be scared, Matt Reeves. Just keep making them. Don't listen yeah, to them. Yeah, um, it seems though like most of the fan base is happy with the Batman. Okay, good. It, it seems like from my general like gauging of like, okay, how do people feel about this? I think uh, really good. I I don't really have complaints about any of the actors. I like the penguin. Penguin was good. Can't uh, believe it's Colin Farrell. I kind of like that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> the whole Falcone, you know, kind of like Italian mafia kind of thing. I yeah. enjoyed that aspect to it. I'm surprised um, that that was the actor that they chose. That was pretty good too. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think, I, yeah, I like it. Just I don't know. I don't really. I guess yeah. Like my only nitpicks with the sh- movie is that sometimes. Yeah, like, I can see why people would be like, oh, he was kind of reaching into that Twilight thing. I don't think he reached too far in, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes it did start feeling, like, a little too edgy. Um, but I think it's just because the direction the movie was going in, um, it almost felt, like, horror movie-like at times. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that, especially the opening scene, like, with the Riddler. Yeah. Like, like that one was good. <laughs> but that threw me through a loop because I was like, oh, this is a different Batman mm-hmm. movie. We're not getting Batman that's as we right. that's want right. to. And I think that's that's a valid critique. Um but it's just it's just it's either gonna be your thing or not. I think that's at the end of the day, it's either you're gonna like this interpretation. It's scary, dude. Gotham is scary. I know it's supposed um, to be though. <laughs> that's, that's the it's thing. supposed to be, but it's like it's gritty, it's scary, uh it's impoverished, it's just you feel like when there's scenes going by and there's different things. I loved the Riddler when he was taking people down. It was super scary. Yeah. And it was just like, it was horror movie like. It was, that's mm-hmm. all it was. It was horror movie like. Like, you felt like if someone showed you this without knowing who the Batman was, you would say, oh, that's probably like, it looks like it's kind of like a horror thriller mm-hmm. movie. Psychological horror. That's what you would horror, probably yeah. say. Yeah, psychological horror. Because like, this was a crime movie in a way, but mm-hmm. <laughs> like a lot of it grabbed horror elements yep. and i love that it was really like this fits batman and um especially and like when he walks out of the shadows that's that was a scary <laughs> yeah i mean some people didn't like that what? um like where oh. like i'm sorry like, like when batman was walking out of the shadows they're oh. like they're kind of making fun of it but i don't know i think a lot of it's in, in good jest I, I think they're not really like about complaining about it but but yeah like i i think like I think it's good. I think I think the movie's good. I think it's a good direction. Uh, the problem with something like this, like I think it'd be harder to do like a Wonder Woman or a Superman movie like this. I think um, they can do a Superman. Be... You think you can do a Superman? I think so. I mean, Superman was kind of dark. Man of Steel was at least. 
Yeah, but, but that was its biggest complaint that it was too dark. Who cares? Like we're they're they're already changing Superman in the comics, so why can't they change it in the movie? Like <laughs> yeah. they can oh, be. No, I mean, like it's fine if they want to do that, but I'm just saying, like a lot of people like are gonna complain. Um, I can see maybe like the flash or something kind of going this direction um i can see like a cyborg movie i could definitely see like cyborg a, being in this like a like a teen titans yeah um, that'd be ooh, I think like teen titans universe in this Ooh. yeah like i can see something kind of like this like that developing uh uh hmm. oh man i can't believe uh who <sighs> Constantine, there we go. Oh. Constantine, oh. Like, a, uh, like like a Justice League Dark, I can see that happening in this kind of like Keanu world Reeves Constantine. Where, hey man, don't don't threaten me with a good time, you know? Like that's <laughs> I think uh, yeah, I think that'd be a cool interpretation. He's uh, did you, I'm not sure if you know, but in the uh, Keanu Reeves is gonna be voicing Batman in the uh, oh the Super Pets the movie, Do- yeah. yeah, the Super Pets one, yeah. yeah. So I was what like, a stupid eh, movie. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. <laughs> I hate that, that movie exists, but I'm gonna go see it. Yes. Yeah. Um, we may not review it, but <laughs> no, we'll review it. Oh, shamelessly gosh. review it. But yeah, no, I, I don't know. It's it's one of those things that you know, it's it is for a younger audience. Um, but uh, I don't know, fan. What, what's your kind of like? I guess closing thoughts. How is this gonna? Or not closing thoughts, but like, how is this? How should the DC universe continue on from this point? And I don't know, like, what, what should we do? What What's the next step? For <sighs> that's the hard. Brothers? That's that's the hard question. They definitely should do the trilogy. Hopefully, they do the Gotham PD because that could probably tie in a lot of loose ends. Oh uh, yeah, like that. That that'd be actually a good way to like start to introduce like the gangs. And then part two is like, hey, this is like the the quote unquote finale of the big bosses, and like Gotham does it again. And part three, and like that's that. That I would like that intertwine it kind of like Marvel does now. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like what happens with this, I don't. Oh wait, so because you're saying the Gotham TV series, right? Yeah, not not uh, not the no. one on CW, but the one for HBO Max or Go, whatever it's called. Okay, okay, so it's not the old series though. Yeah, like, no, not that, that one. Yeah, finish that because so they're they're, they're they're making a new one with this uh, Gordon, in this Mar and this sorry not Marvel in this Batman universe. I'd enjoy that. Yeah. I'd enjoy that because I I don't I hopefully I don't see them do too much Bat Family stuff. I mm-hmm. think I think just having Commissioner Gordon go in and do stuff, it's fine. Like, yeah, because you know we can show him as like a family man and stuff like that. Eventually, get, introduce like, Batgirl uh, that Bat- way, and, and, and introduce Batgirl like that. But mm-hmm. I, I just I I just like Batman and Commissioner Gordon because I don't sometimes I just like the personal aspects of the character. Mm-hmm. Like I and just Alfred. want to. I need more Alfred. Alfred was good. I liked his. I like. Um, I can't remember the actor's name right now, but Andy I like. Circus. Yeah, I liked his interpretation. Um, of Alfred, I think that, how do I word it? I don't want, I mean, I want Alfred to be in there more Alfred. I don't mm-hmm. think we should go on to kind of like his past and like, cause I know they had like the Pennyworth TV series. Oh, I never right, watched yeah. that. I don't know if I want them to kind of like go that direction either. Again, yeah. like as long as it centers around Batman and a commissioner Gordon, I like commissioner Gordon. Yep, so maybe. hopefully he stays as the character. Um, <laughs> but if, if they're if they're pausing it, I don't know because is Matt Reeves directing? Well, I, it's I don't know. I think so because Matt Reeves himself said, "Oh yeah, that's on pause for right now." So I I mm. it, I read it on IGN. They didn't say anything else. So mm. just IGN getting clickbait. Yeah. Fine. Hey, they gave this movie a ten out of ten. So <laughs> yeah, they have my respect. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I think I think Batman a uh, Batman Joker needs to keep going this direction. Mm-hmm. I think we can I think we just ha- can have multiple universes. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. This can be Earth like dark or whatever and then that one can be like Earth 1, you know, the Snyderverse mm-hmm. or I mean they killed the Snyderverse. So, hey, you know what? Just just keep this. I just want this. Just give me this. Just don't That's mess this up. <laughs> yeah. Don't mess this up. Don't mess up Black Adam. You can mess up everything else. <sighs> Yeah, because Black Adam, I'm very. No, you know, no, 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 no. First, before you destroy this universe, give me Superman, Henry Cavill, versus Black Adam. You don't even have to have Shazam. I want Shazam in there, but I, I, I honestly, just, same. I just, all I ask is, <laughs> all I ask is Superman and Black Adam to duke it out. That's all I want. Oh That's my all gosh. I want. And then two and then Titans you, in real life, too. Man, that would be sexy. I would, I would love. Yeah, that. they're both like six foot four, juiced up to the brim. Yeah. The shoulders are the size of my head. Yep. Like I just want it. 
But yeah, there, I think they would be smart to kind of keep doing these one-off movies. And like we've always hearkened that DC's better when it's just personal mm-hmm. characters where it's just it's personal like you just it's one character at a time. It's not this crazy extended universe. Sometimes just telling these individual stories is where um DC does its strongest stuff. Yep. Yep. The characters are kind of built for that, I think, you know. It, yep. It's they can exist within an extended universe like you know of course the justice league cartoons did that perfectly they should have copied that but they didn't so i think just going the because i don't because the way that marvel's built the structure the architecture mm-hmm. they can't copy dc what they're doing it this way yeah and exactly. vice versa dc can't copy how marvel's doing it at this point it's been wildly unsuccessful for them and i think yeah. they found a niche they found a niche to do it this way and people are willing to throw money at it I am. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. You are. People are listening to this. They're, they're probably going to be. Yeah, most people are going to be willing to to pay for something like that. Like, and if not, tell us why. Stories. And I'll say you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I, I, I just hope that Warner Brothers just kind of wisens up a bit. That's it. That's all I want. I mean, again, and I they should. Hopefully, The Rock. He has that power to influence a lot of things. The Rock is one of the biggest actors in Hollywood right now. If he can't get Henry Cavill, I mean, Henry Cavill wants to come back, but if he, he can't get Superman back, then on Warner board, Brothers like, should like, be shut down. One hundred percent, like one hundred percent. If because The Rock literally said, "I want Henry Cavill to be Superman in my movies." You have two beefy boys, dude. Like you can like, have them go at it, bro. That's the ultimate like, fan service. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, that's like male fan service. That's the equivalent of anime it. big boobas. <laughs> but it's like real life I, I can see muscular like men. And, fighting, and it's just like, it's going to be amazing. And <laughs> I don't know why they don't want to give it to us. Well, yeah. We're not asking um, I think overall, movie was really good. Yeah, I can see criticisms of certain things here and there. You're um, wrong. I am, I think the running the runtime for this was actually good. Mm-hmm. Um, even though it was close to three hours, <laughs> it did not drag on. Yeah, I wanted more. You know, it, that's it, the only it did not I had. drag on. Um, mm-hmm. It was well paced, beautiful scenes, the music. I loved the dialogue or the monologue, I should say, from Batman. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes, like it was kind of. I mean, like because. As Bruce Wayne, he wouldn't really like respond. Like he would just be like, "Yes," and then look away. <laughs> like I was like, eh, "That is within Batman's character, you know, where he's just like he's not gonna give you the time yeah. of day." But just sometimes when sitting there, when Batman wouldn't respond, and you just look at them, like it's kind of funny. <laughs> but I, like it, it was a character, but I could see some people kind of being upset about that. I, I'm not too much. It kind of did kind of like throw me off at first, and I was kind of like, oh, I, "I like that." But he is the Batman, so I got you know it's fine if he doesn't respond. Mm-hmm. Um, but it added like a slight comedy to the whole thing when like the police officers would be like, "Hey, yeah, uh, you know, what are you doing here?" And then yeah, he, he just, just looks just at, look him. at him. <laughs> and like, um, well, he always and had yeah, to wear dark like, sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite part. Just to read like whatever the newspaper was, he put on his dark sunglasses so he can see because it was too bright. Yeah, I was like, that literally reminds me of Ruben. <laughs> Because he always wears those <laughs> stupid dark sunglasses inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed the interpretations of these characters. Um, I have no problems with it. I think mm-hmm. a lot of people were afraid for nothing. Um, yes, I can see why Chris didn't enjoy it. Uh, we'll have to have him on uh, and try to like debate him because I'm willing to debate him on that. <laughs> You know, like, because I, I don't know what Angel's going to say, our cousin. We'll see when we start streaming right now, but we'll see what he has to say yeah. if he ends up joining us. But, okay. um, all right, I, I think I think that's kind of it. We just kept talking about Batman. I know we we're going to talk about the whole world and everything. Well, that movie was so we like, good. <laughs> like, or, like, how, how DC should, you know, progress. But I just keep going back to, like, dang, I like this scene, and I like that scene, and this was cool, and, oh, my gosh, the costume, and, like, like I want to I want to dress up it. as the Batman, and that's how good the costume was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite is like when people are playing like this, uh, like they're playing like the Batman theme or something, mm-hmm. and they're like, "You're not the Batman." He's like, "I am Batman," and they're like people like who are just like <laughs> they're doing like the whole like Batman sigma, sigma male stuff, and it's just it's funny. It's like a bunch of memes and stuff, but I love it because because it's true. It's true because like that there's like TikToks like that where he's like. 
This like made me want to be like Batman and mm. like just the edge look like that. And then he's like, <laughs> Well, have you seen the yeah, TikTok kind of... where it's like a guy is like, Oh, you're trying to, you're stealing a 75 inch TV. And then you hear this song and it's the Batman theme song. Yeah, <laughs> and it's the crying, yeah. the crying emoji guy. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Dude, there's just so crazy ones out there. But yeah. So I need a sequel like now. tomorrow. Yep. All right. You got a year. We're going to close up here. So if you listen this far, we very much appreciate it. Thank you for listening in. I know that we kind of rambled on this one, just kind of fangirling over this. And and we kind of critiqued it, but there's not much to critique here for me. But I think we should. We should have a little debate against some people that don't, that didn't like the movie. Like, how do we improve this movie? Uh, for me, I think it's pretty good. Uh, but, of course, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't have that little debate. Uh, uh, we just got to see schedules-wise. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to be signing off. Uh, make sure to follow uh Follow us on our Instagram at Past the Pop Culture. We also tweet out um, when we're going live for live streams uh, every Monday. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I said tweet, so I forgot. Follow us on Twitter. Sorry, <laughs> skip that right there. Follow us on Twitter. Yeah, we're also Past Pop Culture on there. And then yes, on our Instagram and Twitter, we typically tweet out or you know put a little story up, letting you guys know we're going live because we also play games on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash past the pop culture uh if you want to continue the conversation there talk about why or why you didn't like the batman and you know give us your rating there let us know like is there any easter eggs we missed things you wanted to talk about that we didn't bring up feel free to hop on in and you know chill for a bit yeah we're just gonna be playing most likely apex i think we're kind of stopping halo for now but we're gonna kind of be going between halo and apex for now until we kind of decide what we want to do yep. but uh yeah so if you enjoy that kind of content let us know uh we were kind of clutching up a little bit but the last time we were playing but at the same time we're very much noobs so don't yell at us if you go and hop in <laughs> but yeah so uh i think that's it for today if you're on youtube make sure to leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching peace